Moms, what keeps you going? What gives you your motivational boost to keep pouring out, to keep trucking ahead, to keep pursuing your dreams, to keep being your fabulous, destined to be great self? What does it require? In today's vid, I'll give you my top five favorite things. And you may be surprised by a couple of them. Let's go. moms and my occasional dad. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dr. Z. I share resources, strategies, tips, and tools based on blending 10 plus years of teaching with now homeschooling. Today's video is all about the mom's favorite five things. These are things that help get me boosted, jump started, a motivational thing that just keeps me moving. And we're going to start off with my favorite smoothie, which is called a chocolate orange smoothie. I'm going to link it in the description box below. I got it from another blogger, so I will make sure I link it below, but it's really part of my morning routine. I'm one of those, like, I don't really like the okie dokes, so I don't want to fool you into talking about something that I'm not really consistently doing. So, like, my family, typically on a, mor on a morning, we will work out as a family, but we haven't done enough of that working out consistently for me to share that, so when we get to that place, then I'll put that in a video. So, this is something that I could see being a staple in my diet and I was told that I had low blood sugar so I'm hypoglycemic so this is something that really will help get that protein and that fat in there and then it's super duper low in sugar so uh, I think it's delicious and so I'm just really going to talk to you while I'm making it uh, and I find that it's a great way to make sure that I'm getting things in my diet and um, to make sure that everything is going well. Uh, at the beginning of the day, I am told that I should probably be eating 45 minutes after I have woken up. I should be putting something in my system. Because I'm not really the, the typical eat a breakfast, get up, eat everything, I've been making it a point to make sure I do these smoothies because they give me that sort of boost and energy that I need to jumpstart my day. Here I'm just putting some baking cocoa powder in here. There we go. I never thought that I'd be saying that I'm putting oats in the smoothie. I mean, because I'm that person that if it wiggles, if it jiggles, if it shakes, I don't want it. If you can think about that over back in the day when your grandmama made that bubble and it had that little slimy, snot-like consistency, yeah, I'm good. But this is frozen over and you don't even taste it, but the health benefits are endless. I'm just gonna put a cup of okra in there. And um, like I said, you don't even taste it, but the health benefits are all there. Who knew that you could put okra, uh, okra with cocoa? And then I'm gonna peel this tangerine. You know, these little cutesies, the kids love them. And I keep telling them, listen, this is mommy's. You got applesauce, you got bananas, you got mangoes. Why you gotta reach for my stuff? Anybody else have that problem? Consistently. Either way, they still want mine, even though they have more than enough of their own. But I'm gonna put this in, just peel it. Very simple, it probably takes me now that I've got a hang for what I'm putting in it, it probably takes me about, I don't know, maybe about 10, 15 minutes just to get all my ingredients together and put it in there. This is a tablespoon of honey, it's gonna go in there. So you guys, I'd love to hear what are some things that you guys do to boost your day and to keep motivated. As moms, we take on so much. Would it be Mother's Day? I think it's important for us to have that thing that we know that we go to to just Make sure that we're staying revived and getting what we need as mamas. This is just some vegan protein. I am technically pescatarian, which means that I just do fish and seafood. And uh, but lately, on occasion, I have to buy a little something else, like my lamb, in there just to make sure I'm getting what I need. The last thing is just ice. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and tell you about some of my other things as I whip this smoothie up, and I'll show it to you when I'm done. Move to your liking, you can pretty much just put it, I put it in my little container for drinking. And the great thing about this is that my daughter is gluten dairy and nut free. And so because of all the ingredients that I've used, she can also drink this smoothie and she loves it. But because of my mom, when we talk about mom's favorite thing, I just give her the leftover of what's in this container after I pour it in mine. And she's content. Don't judge me, it's all good. They'll be all right. But yeah, I love the smooth texture. I 
sip on that, usually while I'm working out, but we have already done our workout. So I'm gonna be sipping on this as I talk to you guys about my other four things. Mm, so good. Number two in my top five faves is definitely journals. If you've been hanging with me for any good bit of time, you know that I am a journal queen. I love using journals. And the ones you see here are the ones that I'm using currently. Yes, all five. They're used for very different purposes. I use some for prayer journaling, some for being able to record my thoughts, reflect, dump, others for my goals, business um, adventures. This is my latest one and this was gifted to me. Totally cute. I am transitioning into a new phase of business and I just want to breathe life into it through my writing and be able to keep up with the process and my thoughts. So I'm super excited about starting this one and being able to pour out uh, a lot of the things that go on in my brain on a daily basis. I find as a mom so much can happen throughout my day that just being able to unload my thoughts and this is also part of my morning routine, similar to the smoothie, where I can just really set the tone for my day with being able to write. So my number three top five favorite thing, at least in this season, is actually something that is less about the item itself and more about the sentimental value. I am more of that spontaneous giver. I love to be thoughtful about the people that are in my life and that need something to me and to give in that way. Is anybody else like that? Let me know in the comments below. But I think that's the way that I also like to receive. So when someone just randomly gives me something, whether it's tangible or monetary or not, but someone is thoughtful, it really really just goes a long way with me. So it was like the beginning of a week and I broke my wallet and it was like one of those moments, probably one of those weeks where I was just like, this, you know, this just broke the monkey's back. Is it the monkey's back? Might be some other end. Anyway, so I, it's a camel. It's a camel. Okay, sorry. But yeah, I broke my wallet. And so that was the beginning of the week. By that Wednesday, I'm in Bible study and one of my sister friends walks up to me with a box and I open it up and lo and behold, it is this beautiful photo wallet. Oh my God, like totally thrown off, totally unexpected. And it is adorable. And I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but that's my family and then I'm back. She got these pictures and put them on this wallet. I thought it was the cutest thing. I will link in the description box because because I get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about what type of wallet it is and where it got it from. But it has also become a great conversation starter from when I meet these incredible moms. When I'm out in public, everyone seems to ask me about this wallet. So it allows me an entry point to talk and meet great people and to be able to encourage, of course, and even business related things. So I am grateful for the gift that keeps on giving. And this is one of those phases. Number four of my mom top five fave things that keeps me going, keeps me motivated, would definitely have to be my family. And in particular, my husband. In the six years that I've been a mom, uh, my husband has been along for this journey as a very much critical support. I have been homeschooling. I have been working a business. I have been uh, just being home and being still sometimes. I've gone through things and it has required a faith walk for sure. We had a major shift when I came out of the classroom and I would not be where I am today as a mom and daily grinding if it, if I, if it were not for knowing that um, he's right there cheering me on and he's in my corner that he even in the time when he's off he gets a breather spends quality time with his children uh, allows me the space to work on the things that are of value to me the things that God has given me he pushes me in those things he celebrates those things and so I would be remiss if I did not add him to my five fave my fave five hope you guys are still with me my fifth and final mom favorite things to get that motivational boost is probably something a bit unexpected if I am honest I am not the person that you give flowers to so I will gladly receive them and I think I'm grateful for the people that give me flowers in my life but I think my husband learned very early on when we were one year in thank God that we're going on 11 years and when we were one year in I remember our, us buying our home and coming in and seeing these flowers on the um on the mantle and me just thinking in my head yeah you don't know me <laughs> Sorry, I just laugh at that to this day, but I don't think I've received flowers from him to this day, like literally. 
But anyway, he brought home this plant. When we first got it, it looked like this. After some time, it was in our living room and, you know, he said that it wasn't really getting enough sunlight. It is a bird of paradise plant. And so apparently you have to have like full sunlight for it to grow. So he had the idea of putting it in my office, which, you know, I'm like, I don't want the plant to die. So let me go ahead and do it, you know. And since that time, this plant has bloomed to this magnitude. And it has connected with me in a way that I never expected. Like, I've got this connection with this plant now. And I think what's interesting about it and why it motivates me and has become one of my faves is because it tells me that as long as we are in the right condition, as long as there is the sun, and so in shining on us, shining his light on us daily, that even the things that may seem like they're dying are beginning to grow, that they're beginning to bloom. And this plant is unique because it has what looks like to me as cuts in it. And to someone, it may look like the plant is like ripping, like it's actually going to die. But that's part of the way the plant is growing. It grows in that natural way. And it reminds me that all of the cuts, all of the bruises, all of the things that we go through as moms that we pursue and that look to us like they're dead things, they may not feel like it's producing what we feel like it should, that it is truly growing and it is the beautification of that thing that appears ugly that God uses. And so in this coming Mother's Day, I want to leave you with saying that the thing that boosts me and motivates me is to know that I'm under the right conditions, that I am being groomed, that I am being attended to because of my relationship with my Heavenly Father, my Savior. Um, and it is that that continues to keep me going. It continues to keep me putting my head down and going at it. I'm in that season where I can't really listen to a lot of voices, a lot of opinions, if you know what I mean. I have to really download and just grind. I'm in that grind place place anybody else there but I can see the fruit even though it's not everything that I'm looking for yet I can see that I am blooming that I am growing that my children are blossoming and that though we have a ways to go the constant watering the constant sunlight the constant digging up and some things do have to die off of that tree to for the new leaf to grow that we are going to the place that has been intended for us and I'm so grateful for that and that gives me the boost to keep going as usual, thank you all for hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments below what's one of your top five favorite things to do, to see, to experience. And don't forget to comment because I love to have these exchanges with you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and continue to follow us if you have found anything helpful in this video. Happy, happy, happy Mother's Day to every mom out there. And I want to encourage you to pray for someone that is desiring to conceive, that would desire to be a mom, and to know the grace that has been given to you to do the same and to pray for someone else's miracle to be birthed. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.